morning, fam. Hope you're doing good. I'm going to read this devotion from March 17th, even though today is March 18th. Um, as of right now, I'm still unable to upload any videos. So there's a little bit of a backlog starting, but that's okay. And the reason I'm reading this devotional is because yesterday was my birthday. And I'm going through this morning my devotionals that were my birthday. Look, Google thinks it's time for me to die. Close that ad. Okay. <laughs> Google is so rude. The ads, they pop up. I'm so offended. But, um, <laughs> so the name of this channel is, is Bema Seed Academy. And I think it's actually pronounced Bema. So I'm going to try to transition over to that. Let go of Bema. But my heart is, is to be ready when he comes. He, he said that he, you know, when I come, will I find faith on the earth? Um, it says in scripture that we want to be like a, a spotless bride when he comes um, and that we should be found um, abounding in his work and abiding in peace, spotless and blameless when he comes. So that's my heart. Um, if you don't know for sure that you're going in the rapture, um, it's a gift that comes with salvation. It's what Paul preached to the Thessalonians when he was there for two weeks. He taught them that Jesus died for them that he rose from the dead for them, that if they just trust in him, that their sins are forgiven, they are the righteousness of God in Christ, and they will be in the rapture. So um, if you don't know, just ask Jesus to save you. Confess that you are imperfect, you're a sinner, you can't make yourself holy and pure and perfect for heaven, that only Jesus' blood can do that for you, and believe and receive his salvation and become a child of God. And that is his gift. It's a gift not of works. We cannot do it. We are just working with a filthy toolkit. We can't do it ourselves. But it's a gift that we receive. And how do you receive a gift? You say thank you, and you open it, and you, you take it to yourself. So the other part of salvation is that we are gonna, we're going to be raptured, whether we die or whether we remain. We're going to be caught up into the clouds to meet him in the air. And it's very soon because, oh my gosh, have you heard about July. <laughs> They're rolling it out in July, the digital currency. <laughs> oh my goodness. There's going to be no more cash so soon. So to the point, um, I like looking at everything on my birthday to see what God's saying. And it's like the whole Bema Seed Academy theme is in this devotion. So it's so fitting for this channel. Let's look at it. Ruth, and isn't that a nice little rapture book, right? Um, where hast thou gleaned today? And so the gleanings, in case you don't remember, are when the Israelites were to harvest their fields for food, they were commanded to leave whatever dropped. They couldn't pick it up. And whatever they forgot to cut or missed had to be left there for the poor. And Naomi and Ruth were gleaning in Boaz's fields. And so they would get their food basically from whatever was left over. And so gleanings are leftovers that feed you. So Lord, please teach us. Where hast thou gleaned today? So the question is, where, where have you been to gather scraps for nourishment? What have I learned wherever I've been from all I've heard, from all I've seen? What know I more that's worth the knowing? What have I done that's worth the doing? What have I sought that I should shun? What duties have I left undone? Pythagoras. And that sounds to me like he's the Greek that came up with a Pythagorean theorem. That's my guess. Probably some cool Stoic. So not only have I, what have I done and seen and heard and learned, but also what have I gone after that I shouldn't have? And what duties have I been blowing off? And E.B. Pusey, I don't know if you've heard of him, but he's an amazing author. If you could just Google his name and look at his quotes, he has so many zingers. All of this world will soon have passed away, but God will remain. And thou, whatever thou hast become, good or bad, thy deeds are now the seed corn of eternity. Every single act in each several day, good or bad, is a portion of that seed. Each day, Add some line, making thee more or less like him, more or less capable of his love. 
So it's pretty cool because this is the whole idea of our lives. Every day, every choice, every action is going to give us a harvest. Paul said, you who sow abundantly will reap abundantly. And if you sow abundantly, God will give you more seed, whether it's your time, your energy, your resources, your heart, your love, your, your words, your money, your substance. Whatever we give away, he promises to multiply it so we can give liberally and joyfully. And also, what are we going after that we shouldn't? What are we avoiding that we should? Because there's going to be a huge harvest on that last day. And that last day, I'm thinking, is soon. If it's not by the 25th, then my whole Purim Rapture video was false. And so I'm like, got my, is a nail biter for me. I have the popcorn out. I'm really looking at this week. And if not, okay. You know, I mean, we've been disappointed so many times. We can handle another disappointment. We'll be okay. He's going to, he's going to come for us. And then this is really cool. Sarah W. Stephen, Stephen. There is something very solemn in the thought that part of our work, which we've left undone, may first be revealed to us at the end of a life filled up as we'd fondly hoped with useful and necessary employments. That's saying that it's kind of sobering to realize that there's things that we were supposed to do that we haven't done that we won't even realize until the rapture. And we mm -hmm. thought we were totally serving him. So this, this devotional is just such an encouragement to me because the whole Bema Seed Academy thing is my heart. It's my life. It's like my magnum opus is living for that day. And so on my birthday, that's exactly what this devotion was about. And so this last thought, I think it's so important because God says in Romans that God, or is it Ephesians, that he has works, poemas, beautiful things for us to do that he ordained before the foundation of the world. And at the end of the video, I'll, I'll find that video and pop it up or that reverse. But we can't just go out there and do good and say, look what I'm doing for you, Lord. It's walking in the spirit, learning to hear his promptings, learning to give and do sacrificially at the bidding of the Holy Spirit. And the way that we walk in those is we ask. We have to say, Lord, please, will you use me? Will you open my eyes to what you have me to do? Help me to hear your spirit. Help me to sense your nudgings. Lord, open my eyes and let me walk in those walks. Because everything has to be start and finish the Holy Spirit. That's what will be the gold, the silver, and the precious stones at his coming. Not us mustering up some self-righteous, idiotic work that God doesn't even want us to do because that's our flesh and our flesh is just death and rebellion against the Lord but those who walk in the spirit will live by the spirit and overcome the deeds of the flesh so Lord we just want to come to you the time is short we ask in Jesus mighty name teach us to walk in the works which you foreordained before the foundation of the world that will be gold silver and precious stones that we might have crowns and jewels to throw at your feet and to worship you not empty-handed we love you Lord amen Okay, so this is the verse. I actually memorized this with a with a vacation Bible school group. Um, and if you aren't a big memorizer, one good tactic is sing-songy. So um, I'll read it and then I'll show you the sing-song way to memorize it. For we are God's handiwork, created in Christ Jesus, to do good works, which God prepared in advance for us to do. Ephesians 2.10. And so to memorize stuff, you just make it sing-song. For we are God's handiwork, created in Christ Jesus to do good works, which God prepared in advance for us to do. Ephesians 2.10. It's especially fun with hyper children with claps, but it works. And you can also make songs out of it. You make a melody out of it, which I will not do. But for we are God's handiwork, created in Christ Jesus to do good works, which God prepared in advance for us to do. So, Lord, we want to walk in them. God bless you. Talk to you later. Thanks for checking in. And if you would, please like and share and even subscribe if you would. Talk to you later.